It's not often you get to hear the candid thoughts of a man who acknowledges being a pedophile. Robert Johnson spent two and a half years in the prison behind me in London, Ontario, on his second conviction on child pornography charges in 2012. Now he's agreed to sit down with the Toronto Star and speak openly for the first time about what lured him into child pornography and how it's impacted his life. How does it go from downloading a few pictures to becoming an obsession to the point where you were collecting thousands and thousands of images? Well, basically it started uh, after I moved to London here, bought this place living on my own. I st still had a healthy sex drive and I turned to the ubiquitous internet porn for an outlet. And uh, that's when I f the first time I saw child pornography, it popped up on one of the adult porn sites. At first, I kind of you know, reeled back at this. Oh, I kind of like, oh, I've heard about this stuff before. Fast forward about a year and I was, by then I was looking for it. You were the father of a daughter at that point. Did you not make a connection to the fact that these were young girls that were being exploited? Once in a while, I would. And when I did that, I would stop and take a look at the situation and wipe everything out. Wipe it all off. You delete completely obliterate the images. All of it. All of it. But unfortunately. So you had moments of uh, where you felt guilt. Guilt. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes. I knew it was wrong, but I was a losing battle because every time I wiped everything out, another three, four months later, I'd be back at it. How do you explain you went through 50 years of your life, you had no interest in the images of young girls, and then suddenly, in your 50s, you discover this, and, and you find that you're very aroused by it. That I didn't know that I had the potential to, to, to acquire an interest in that. It's just that when it, as I explained earlier, it came to me on, via the internet, but it is so insidious, there's something about it that I, I can't explain that it's just so pernicious, so vile, but it's, it's so magnetic at the same time. I didn't ask you an obvious question. Why are you talking to me about this? The message I want to put out there is there is no way to rationalize this. It is wrong on all levels. Uh, there's a reason why it is so frowned upon, because kids are the single most defenseless sector of society, is the children. Have you since tried to reconnect with your daughter? No, it's too early. It's too, I know, I know her way of dealing things, and uh, I, it may never happen, and that makes me very sad. But that's, that's, that's because of me. That's, that's my fault. You know, my girlfriend stuck by me because I, I, she knew I was a good man. I'm a good man that made a horrible mistake. Horrible mistake caused untold damage. And I, I will live with that the rest of my days.